C++ has a notoriously steep learning curve, and it can be tough finding introductory courses. But C++ is also versatile and powerful, and is used for building everything from web browsers and operating systems to desktop applications and more. In this video, I'm showing you Learn C++ from Scratch, and we'll explore this course's features, layout, projects, price, and more coming up. Hey, Archie C here. Listen, don't forget to get on our official mailing list. We have the free stuff, like free stuff. We we have a free ebook for you. We have so many coding tips, real world insights, and so much more. Link popping up. It's also in the description box of this video. Sometimes people hate on C++ and that makes me kind of sad. C++ is such a powerful language. As I mentioned at the start of this video, we're not talking to do apps. We're talking operating systems, desktop applications, even video games, big pieces of software are running on C++. It's also a very valuable skill. You can get paid pretty well as a C++ developer. So today we're checking out a C++ course if you wanna skill up. It's called Learn C++ from Scratch. This is on a platform called educative.io. I've done a couple reviews on it in various courses on this platform, but just to give you the TL didn't watch of those, no videos on this platform. So it's interactive coding editors, it's reading, it's a lot of pretty pictures. This course in particular has 94 illustrations. Before we jump too far into this course though, where you can see the layout, some of the features and whatnot, let me pop into my other browser here where you can see these other C++ courses. If you're an intermediate developer, maybe you already know some C++, but you wanna get back into it. There is pretty much every flavor for anyone interested in any aspect of the language on this platform. Even going down into embedded programming initialized data members from C++ 11 till C++ 20, generic programming templates in C++, OOP in C++, algorithms, coding interviews in C++. Developers, please, need I go on? But let's get back to the course in question here. This course is about 10 hours. They estimate it's gonna take you 10 hours to complete. Again, no video. As they say right here, the average video tutorial is spoken at 150 words per minute and you can read at 250. At a glance, this course has three assessments, 74 lessons, nine quizzes, 25 challenges, 65 coding playgrounds, and 94 illustrations. Just wanna get this out of the way. There are no projects in this course. This is more fundamentals. This is more exercises. This is challenging you to complete the basics. So then you can go on and build the next operating system or the next Unreal game engine or what have you. So let's go into this course. I've actually already completed this course. So you'll see all these little green dots. That means I've completed the lesson. This course has 11 modules and then three exams. If we go into the introduction, the very first lesson is called Hello World, just getting you introduced to C++. And right away, this is one thing that I do love about this course. They're not wasting time page upon page telling you about the history of this language. There's already a code editor on the very first lesson and you can run it. You can also go into the coding editor and edit it to your heart's content. And if we run that, that is still going to run. And here is our output. By the fourth lesson in the introductory module, we're already doing a quiz. The quiz material in this course varies from true false questions to multiple choice. Other things you'll learn in this course, variables and user input, simple maths, conditional statements, loops, and recursion, your first exam, point and arrays exam two, classes and inheritance, templates, they close you out with that third exam. For being a 10 hour course, this is pretty manageable. You probably won't be able to crank this out in a day, but over a weekend, possibly over a week for sure. And if you wanna take your time, obviously you are free to do that too. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that this length of a course for me is pretty manageable. Um, if I remember, I think I did this in a weekend maybe like a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. The reason I was able to do it in a weekend was because it was fun. I really enjoyed the language and what you're doing here doesn't require any type of environment setup. Your coding environment is already taken care of for you in these coding editors, which saves so much fricking time. I wanna take you down to the third exam because this one is where you get a little bit of everything. You get multiple choice, match the answer questions and write the code. This is the first time I've seen this on educative, write the code questions. You're being tested based on your coding skills. You are given a problem in descriptive form and asked to solve it by writing program code, provided with a code widget to write your coding solution. And then it's evaluated with test cases to show you how many test cases your solution has passed. So this is pretty cool. And they up the challenging factor. They up the pressure because it's timed and you also get three attempts to do it. I think the timed element just makes it a little more exciting. Some people might find this very nerve wracking. Here's an example of a match the answers problem where 
where the OOP term is in this left-hand column and then the definitions are on the right-hand side and they're all jumbled up. So for example, class, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I do know it is the last answer here. A class is a blueprint template or prototype. So we're gonna go with answer number, definition number five, whoop. I blew through this exam in two minutes and I did not pass. I guess it's kind of fair because I didn't read any of the questions. Going back to the curriculum, these are exams, but they're also quizzes inside the modules. For example, in the templates module, there is a quiz, presumably on templates, and that is what that looks like. It's a four question quiz. There are a few options. The monthly option is $59 and that gives you access to all the educative courses. They have hundreds. It's insane how many courses they have. They seem to multiply like triples. That is your month to month option. And then there are two annual options. You have your premium option, which is 269 a year. And the premium is gonna give you 90 projects and personalized paths. So those are like curated career paths. And there is also the standard yearly where you still get a year of access to all those courses, but not the projects or curated paths. The math on that ends up being $16.66 per month for the standard and then 20 49 for the premium. They're also doing an end of year sale. So if you're interested in this course or this platform, I would recommend getting enrolled before the end of the year because they don't do sales all that often. They're doing 10% off if you do the one year, but then they're also doing 20% off on the two year if you want to splurge and want to get really educated on educative. All in all, this is a really solid course. And if you've been wanting to learn C++, I think this is a really good entry point. Again, it takes about 10 hours to finish, no videos, and you get coding nearly right away. C++ is hella powerful and it can get you paid. Learn C++ from scratch, check it out.